Alexander Melikoff, our PT Young Artist in Hi. Residence. Hello. Hey. Fascinating watching you play the piano this week. Um, you're, you're playing a lot of very demanding music, this mm. big, huge Dante sonata yeah. by Liszt, uh, these uh, Gaspar de la Nuit, these really demanding pieces by Maurice Ravel, a Beethoven sonata, uh, pieces that are very big on the piano. But one thing mm. I notice watching you play, you don't have these huge dramatic gestures at the piano. You don't raise your hands mm -hmm. way high. You don't shake your head and wave your hair. Uh, uh, you're, you're very contained. You're physically very contained at the piano. Have you thought about posture and the way you physically approach the piano? Oh, all the time, all the time. No, it, I mean, the energy really comes from here. Anything outside of that would be a total waste of energy. You know, I would get tired very easily. I would have, you know, some kind of tendonitis. No, the energy really comes from the core. You have to... It just really, it's like kind of like, you know, martial arts in a way, because you have to really just focus and breathe and then feel it and imagine the sound and then bring it out. Like, for example, in the Dante, you know, <clears throat> one of the loudest places. It's just this, you have to let the energy grow naturally out of you. You know, this. you have to have this trajectory. Hmm. Yeah. I've seen other pianists play that very same thing with great big gestures and, and their torso is moving back and forth and their, their arms are flying up in the air. Is, that, is this something you've talked about with teachers? Have you had teachers say, here's how I want you to sit, here's what I want you to think about? Oh, absolutely. But all uh, in the sense of uh, just making things uh, more... You know, um, so I waste less energy, you know. I've always had uh, posture problems, and I've been always working on it, but I never find the need to do any kind of gestures. You know, they are, you know, I, I don't, you know, I'm not one of those people that do that. It's it's not necessary. Maybe some of it is is pure theatricality sometimes mm -hmm. for some musicians. I mean, if you're in, if you're doing a solo piano concert yeah. for a hall where there are 2,000 people or 3,000 people, some people are pretty far away. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, maybe, maybe for some people there's value in creating that physical drama on stage. They should be listening, not watching. <laughs> if it's not enough for them, the music, then it's either, you know, the performer's not doing enough or they're not listening hard enough. I think that's exactly the key. You've put your finger on it, yeah. It's about, it's about the music, mm -hmm. not about the theatricality of the That's event. right. Yeah. Alexander Malikoff. Thank you so much. Always fun to talk with you. Thank you, thank you. And you have a very firm handshake, too. It comes right from your core, I can oh. tell. <laughs> Thank you.